All right, guys, let's look at this together because the directions are just a teeny bit confusing unless you read them really, really slow. What you have is generation one. These are the grandparents right here. These are grandparents. So we have grandpa, grandma, grandpa, grandma, okay? And then their offspring are parents. Right, so that we have dad and we have mom. And this generation three, these are the children. So this dad and this mom got together. They had four offspring, one, two, three, four. They have four kids, okay? So we're gonna start at the first generation with the grandparents. And we're gonna say that the grandparents, the grandpa has all A's, the female, which is the grandma, has all traits that are B's, the other grandpa has all traits that are C's, and the other grandma has all traits that are D's. So to find the offspring that these two make when they get together, you have to take three traits from the male, half, and three traits from the free female. So you have three from grandpa and three from grandma. Really, there's no other way to do this than just really, these are all A's, so we'll just take all A's. And these are all B's, so we'll just take all B's. So half of the traits came from this grandma, half of the traits came for this grandpa to the father, okay, to their offspring. So in order to find the offspring, the traits that pass from this grandpa and this grandma to this mom, you have to take three from the male and three from the female. Okay? So now, in nature, when these two parents get together, when this male and this female get together, they're each going to pass on half of their traits to each child. So I just need to pick a random three. So for this, this male, for this dad, I'm just gonna give this first offspring, this first kid, I'm gonna give um, a BB, just for fun. So that comes from the dad, right? Okay, this is the dad, and this is the mom. And so from the mom, I have to take three. So I'll take C and D and D. Okay. So the point is here is that these are these combinations happen just randomly in nature. So let's grab another combination. Let's get three from the dad. Let's say if we get just three from the dad, I'm just going to pick all three A's. And three from the mom, I don't know, I'll just pick all three D's. And you can pick any three, right? You can pick any three you want, okay? So for another offspring, we're gonna try for another combination. So we want three from the dad. Maybe I'll do uh, all Bs. That's new from the dad. And from the mom, I'll do all Cs. You see how each one of these siblings is different for their traits? Now let's see if we can't come up with a whole different combination here. So we need to pick three from the dad. So maybe um, an A and an A and a B. We don't have that yet. A, A, B. See, we have three Bs, we have three As, we have A, B, B, but not three. So that's good and random. Um, and then we are going to pick um, three from the mom. And so we can maybe pick D, C, and C. So now you can see, ah, see, you can see that all of the traits of the offspring are all different combinations of their first generation, second generation, third generation. So you have grandparents, they have parents, and then children. And you can see how they share some characteristics, right? 
each one of these children has a characteristic from their mom and characteristics from their dad. And this mom has characteristics, some from her dad and some from her mom. This dad has some from his dad and some from his mom. Okay, so now could these be different characteristics? Yes, um, they, but they don't show up until the third generation. Okay, all right, so hopefully you have an idea of what that looks like. Have fun answering your questions.